For this video, I'm going to show you a prone mobilizing and manipulation. And I'm going to use my MCP joint, my metacarpal phalangeal, directly onto the vertebra of C7, which affects the T1. So it's known as the CT junction, cervical thoracic junction, also known as the cervical dorsal junction, known as the CDJ. In one of my videos, I show where I use my thumb directly onto the spinous process. I'm going to use a thrust directly onto the SP. This one is going to go more onto the TP. Okay, so this is uh, C7 just here. So I'm going to come onto the transverse process. My MCP is going to come into that sort of area. Now, when we do an adjustment or mobilizing, then I'm going to show you two slight variations here. So we would normally side bend and rotate away because we induce a type 1. Because if that vertebra is fixed in type 2, which is side bend and rotation towards, then we have to induce a type 1 to initiate the couple motion. Okay? Otherwise, the, the neck is naturally just side bend and rotate into the side it's dysfunctional into. So we have to go against it, hence side bend and rotate away. So find the spinous process. MCP joint is going to come directly down towards C7, like so. I'm going to use this hand to side bend towards and rotate away, down to the level, okay, until I feel tension under my hand here. You're probably not going to see it so well, but I need to use my MCP, and then the movement is towards, towards the axilla on the opposite side. Try not to use the neck as a thrust here. Only try to use this hand. This hand is stabilizing, this hand is doing. So from here, take a small breath in, please. This is mobilization first, so I'm going to use my MCP and mobilize to the TP down towards the axilla. Okay? If I do a thrust technique, take a breath, and as he breathes out, similar, mobilize, 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 lock, 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 thrust down through. You can also do it from this way, so I'm going to just change my angle slightly, so I'll show you on the left side. So if you found the C7, so I'm going to side bend towards and rotate away, but MCP coming in this way. Okay, so I'm going to drop down, side bend towards, rotate away, come down to that level in here. And then from there, so same technique, so I'm mobilizing towards the opposite axilla. Take a small breath. Mobilize first, push through three or four times, lock, 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 thrust down through there. And if you use the appropriate technique and it needs to cavitate, it, it, it will probably cavitate it quite well. So that would be a prone thrust or mobilizing for the cervical thoracic junction using the MCP joint.